So remember when I try to point out the obvious and people wasn't feeling what I was spilling and I start telling y'all, bruh, they're not really rocking with kids like that as far as Quavo go and the familiar. Well, you man, who can anonymous put up a post, I'm assuming yesterday I just ran across somebody that sent it to me, where basically she sent the shots and she didn't unfollow buddy. Take a look at this here. I don't care who drop anything. Ain't the same without my nephew, period. Whack, whack now. I stand on that. What's really hood when I'm through the hood? Rolling. Nothing be said, we got it overstood. Hey. The team fed, hey. yeah, it's really good. Hey. Put that on everything, bro, you're never good. Hey. What's really hood when I'm through the hood? Rolling. Nothing be said, we got it overstood. Hey. Now, normally, I always want to be the one to say, I told you so. But in this instance, I told y'all so. The thing is, is this. This fool, Quavo, has turned his back on his family for mob ties. P, J. Prince, they got a mutual understanding. Now, maybe contractually, they have Quavo by the balls. Who knows? But I guarantee you what's going on is basically a quote-unquote ceasefire. I don't believe Quavo should speak on anything until after the trial is done. Personally, if he decides to do something differently, then that's on him. But for me personally, how I would handle it, I wouldn't say Jack Diddley squat until it's all done. I wouldn't care how many years it take. Drop your music and everything like that. But as soon as somebody, if you do an interview, as soon as somebody bring up anything like that, just say, I don't want to talk about that right now. I want to wait until the trial's done. I don't even care they talk about exonerating Jay Prince Sr. for what he said. And I got one more thing to do before I break something down that I found out that some lame tried to take credit for it. But it is what it is. We did it in the live stream last night, but I think I'm going to drop it tomorrow because I think it just works out better that way. Either way it go, bro. Subscribe, turn on that bell if you feeling the vibe. Why this though? Because right now it's trending Quavo, Jay Pritz, Mob Ties, Takeoff, it's trending. This is why I said they should have spoke with the family as a whole. They didn't do none of that. And that's exactly what your man Offset was saying. You ain't holler at the family. You ain't talk to nobody or anything like that. Y'all think for one odd reason that y'all talking to QCP and barely talking to Quavo that that make it cool. There's a lot of hurt and a lot of blame to go around. And that's the problem that these cats don't understand. Once again, let me say this for the lames in the bank. The Mob Ties and Jay Prince family, they ain't had nothing to do with it. But, bro, y'all set it all in motion. Y'all set it all in play. So y'all have a reason for the blame that y'all get. But you morons are too stupid to understand what y'all just did opened up a box that didn't need to be opened up. See, that whole entire run that y'all just did, bro, that could have been done after the trial. Then people would have actually felt it a little bit. But this right here, trying to manipulate it and everything like this, like technically what you're doing, if Migo Bears, a.k.a. Willie Blair, gets called, do y'all realize y'all tampering with evidence? Do y'all realize that technically right now as a stand, you're intimidating a witness to come out and call a man a snitch with such negative connotations and then say that he's running up on the real ones? I think Jay Prince Sr. doesn't understand that part. And if he doesn't, or if he does, he better figure it out real quick. All them slick shots and everything towards people who speak it on this on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and all that. You created this. You created that illustration. Nobody else. Well, you step up like a man and be like, man, you know what? And don't you all got to say it out loud. But in your mental, you got to go, man, you know what? I, I messed up on this one. See, with the fame and the money and everything comes responsibility. And the responsibility that one with money and fame has is controlling a message, but no awareness in that message and how perception is reality until proven differently. But y'all let me know your thoughts on this. I'll be reading all the comments and stuff besides the trolling stuff and everything like that, bro. I'm telling you right now. I'm curious to see what y'all write. If you don't see this video at 2,000 likes, do me a solid force it to the algorithms. Let's have a conversation. We'll talk about this more on the live stream. I'm going to do a little bit more digging and diving and everything like that. But 
Y'all let me know what y'all feel on this one, for real.